Hello everyone, welcome to chapter 2. This is where we're going to look at the quantum mechanical model and we're going to talk about the different properties of uh, quantum mechanics. So the first um, goal is to just, just to kind of discuss this and so I'm just going to briefly go through this. If, you're, if you've got a book, um, it's going to give you lots and lots of details about all these scientists. Um, they all deserve you know, a pat on the back and for us to talk about them, but um, I just focus on the ones that have really done um, something that's applicable to us and how we're going to use it. And so in the 20th, in the 20th century, the scientists were going, going through a lot of changes in chemistry and physics, and they began investigating the quantum world of matter, which is that tiny, tiny world that we can't see. And those scientists included Albert Einstein, Niels Bohr, de Broglie, Max Planck, Heisenberg, Dirac, and Schrodinger. And so those were the main guys. Um, and there were others, and they, they all um, contributed to this and to the atom and all that. But these are the ones that were doing the, the cutting edge work, I guess you could say, of the behavior of these electrons. And so our foundation is set up by them by the discovery and descriptions of these subatomic particles of matter. So parts of the atom that are electrons, protons, and neutrons. They discovered that these really small pieces of matter, like electrons, did not behave like the big things that we normally looked at, okay? You couldn't use, you know, gravity and things like that. They weren't affected by that because they were so super small. And um, since they were small, they behaved very strangely, and they have what we call a natural duality. And that natural duality means that at the same time that it acts like a particle, because it has mass and volume, it can also act like an energy wave. And so this idea of is an electron energy or is it matter um, really got stirred up in the early 20th century. And so that's what all these guys were talking about, arguing about, and everything. So we look at the behavior of particles and waves, energy, um, so that we can understand that they're doing both. And you can look at them as doing both. So electrons are very small. Um, the number of electrons, as it says here, in a single speck of dust is higher than the number of people who have ever lived on Earth. So, I mean, that's how small they are. You can't look at them, okay, because if you look at it, it changes its behavior. If you shine a light on it so you can see it, you're going to do something. You're going to excite the electron. So it would be affected. So the atom itself is prep is, is pre described, if you will, by the behavior of the electrons. Okay, so we, we kind of, it's kind of like they do when they're looking at the stars. They're inferring things because of how things are moving or responding to stimulus. So the quantum mechanical model tells us um, how the electrons exist and behave in atoms. And one of the ways that um, it's described is by using an energy or light wave, okay, instead of the particulate characteristics of the electron. If you recall, electrons do have matter, but it's super, super small um, related, when you relate it to a proton or a neutron. So we don't look at uh, the electron as being, you know, a little a little dot um, revolving around the nucleus, but it's in a cloud where it could be found or the probability of it being found. So um, it forms the foundation of chemistry because it helps us understand the periodic table and how that those trends are there, how elements behave when they're bonding, and colors of the atoms and their sizes. It predicts atomic properties because it tells us why some elements are metals 
and some do not have those characteristics. Why some gain electrons where some others lose electrons. Some might gain one, some might gain two. And so as the more we understand this property, this energy property, this wave property, um, the more it tells us how we can understand that. So that's, the, that's just the introduction to this, and so that's the end of this section.